taking me honeymoon. Brianna yeah. Starr used to spend her summers striving for a golden tan. We cared more about the appearance of being tan than ever thinking about skin cancer. That was not something that was on our minds at all when we would lay out in the sun. When her sister was diagnosed with melanoma at the age of 19, Brianna got serious about the dangers of sun exposure and learned she had two precancerous moles herself. I kind of always just assumed it was something that happened later in life. Unfortunately, we're seeing it more and more in patients of a young age and often with lots of other cancers, when we find them in a young age, they're often more advanced. A new national survey by the Orlando Health Cancer Institute finds about a third of Americans believe a tan makes people look better and healthier. The survey also found the younger generation is more likely to believe potentially harmful myths about sun protection that flood the internet and social media. About one in seven adults under 35 believe wearing sunscreen every day is more harmful to the skin than direct sun exposure. And nearly a quarter think drinking water prevents a sunburn. I think the downside to um, believing or relying on something without a lot of scientific merit is if that steers you away from something that is really well proven, like sunscreen. Slathering on sunscreen is now part of Brianna's routine, and she hopes more people her age will think about their future and take their cancer prevention cues from their doctor. Skin cancer does happen. Uh, early in life, um, earlier than you think. At the Orlando Health Cancer Institute, I'm Barb Consiglio.